This is the third lesson on area, and we are going to find the area of a rectangle. So here we have our rectangle, and in a previous lesson we learned that we could find the area by counting the squares. So pause the video and count up the squares. Go ahead. All right, you should have counted 50 squares. So do you remember when, in our previous lesson, how we found when we used the beads, how we found that the area was 15? Yeah, so we actually counted the beads, but you probably already knew that five times three equals 15. So now with this rectangle, we're going to do the same thing by counting how many squares it has on its short side. So let's go ahead and count those. One, two, three, four, five. And how many it has on its long side. So you can pause the video and count how many squares it has going this way. Okay, so there are five squares on the short side. And you should have counted 10 squares on the long side. Okay, so instead of counting all of these squares, we can say 5 times 10 equals, and do you know what that is? Yeah, 50. And that's the area of our rectangle. Okay, so let's take a look at this in a different way. So 50 is our area, right? So I'm going to turn this over and write an A for area. Okay, and that is equal to 10, and remember 10 was this part, and we also call that the base. So on the back of that, I'm going to put a B for base, times Five, and remember five was the short side we also call that the height so I'm going to flip this over and put an H for height so we can actually take out the multiplication sign and put these together and this is our result area equals base times height. Okay, so the area of this rectangle is found by multiplying its base times its height. Okay, and that's the formula for finding area of a rectangle.